How are you? How you doing? Good, good. Long time no hear from sister. Hope everything's good with you though. Everything is fine. How's the lighting? How's the sound? You good, you good, you good, Ram. You good, you good. Everything is good with you. I Thank guess you. the first question I have to ask you, right? Can you describe your 2023? Chrome 23 wise, can you describe the 20? Well, I mean, first, I mean, job wise, ventures you have, anything you got going on. Can you describe 2023 for us? This is describe my Chrome 2023. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> um, it was definitely very um eventful, successful, right? And um, definitely a learning experience. I, I feel like I'm at the point in, in this particular venture that, that I've embarked on where I think I know what I want, where I want to go, what I need to do, and um, what I need to not do. And, and, and that's cool. Like I, said, I feel like sometimes it takes a little bit longer for certain shit. I feel like with Chrome, like everything has been like, you know, at light speed from event to event to event. It's like I learned something else. Um, and with that being said, my 2024 is like, I'm, I'm so I'm really excited going into a new year with all that I've learned, all that I've experienced, and um, some more cool ideas of how to just make it better. Because like, that's, that's my ultimate goal, to be the best that you know it could possibly be. Pros and cons of being in this culture? Um, pros and cons. Uh, I would say the pros is that I really get to um, be a part of something that I love and that I enjoy. I get to... Um, help people feed their family, Absolutely. help people, you know, stay out off the streets just by, you know, um, monetizing their talent and their crafts. Um, I get to just like, I, it's, it's also, I get to have fun. I have yet another job that is fun. Um, the cons is that sometimes it's not the real world. Like people just literally just, Toxic, nasty, backstabbing. I mean, <laughs> you're yeah. first I mean, all of that, all of that. But that's that's just that's life in the life, world. That's life. Life, that's but um, it's just like it's just not real. Mm. It's not real. Like I, I, I'm not never a person that I don't need social media to validate me. I don't live through it. If I have something to say to or about, or I feel the way I call people. Um, I meet up with them. And, and this seems to be a, a place where everybody does everything virtually. It's all virtual. They're very um, virtually emotional. <laughs> so, I like um, that. I like that. How you put that together? Um, I like that. You're right, though. It's, 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 that, that part is I don't really like. Also, um, people tend to forget, like, yes, um, I happen to own the league, but I'm not the average league owner. I have a life in other careers and, and, and ventures and things that I do outside of this. And because I am who I am in other fields, it they when they cross, it, it can be an issue. And um I, I I've had to learn how to navigate that and I'm still um learning how to do so. And I can't really control what other people I can't control other people. I can only right. control what I do and what I say and what uh, what I entertain. And um, that that I don't I don't really like because I work so hard in other things. Right. So to have something that is so new and so fresh infiltrate that is it, it, can, it can be annoying and frustrating at times. But um, I feel like I've been in this industry and it's oh it's not even industry. I've been in the public eye for what twenty five years maybe since nineteen, since 19 years old pun right just late yeah, years old. like yeah, sooner than that sooner right. than that actually um and and I didn't I didn't get to where I am now without trials and tribulations and going through mad shit and I'm still here you know like the probably one of the hardest things that I had to do was figure out how to bounce back after being absent mm. for many and many years. You know, some people be gone for a couple of months and it's over for them. So, you know, I, I, I had to manage to do that. So this is like, okay, what's next? Do you feel that get, when, when we talk about Remy Ma, the story of Remy Ma, right? Do you feel that gets highlighted a lot that you did a strong bid, Rem, and you came back and your bounce back 
and you're revamping and reinventing Remy Ma's image. The makeover of Remy Ma has been damn extraordinary. Can I say that? Uh, thank you. Um, I feel like Listen, I say that like, because I know your story. I know right. you're not a person to fuck around with. <laughs> we, we, we know, we know. You know what I'm saying? Look, for we some know. reason, people be fucking with me. I don't understand. It's weird. It's so crazy. But is, um, it hard to, <laughs> nah. is it hard to ignore the bullshit though sometimes? Um, not really, because it's it's not real. It's not real. It goes back to the first part of what I said. It's not right, real. Right. right. It's not real. Like I've been in the real life situations where shit be really like this 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 ain't it like people that uh on a type of timing that i be on and that i grew up with and the cloth that i'm cut from they don't behave like this it's like we you you can't even do some of the things that people be doing because like it's just, it's just gonna end badly so i i don't i don't look at it as real life to be honest like i just don't do you smile sometimes in, in the fact of I always have to shout one of y'all motherfuckers, but still, um, <laughs> I'm not paying attention to you. It's almost like Jay-Z said, I set the trap just to see dude react, but you don't fall for the bullshit, it looks like. Um, because I know my power. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I know my power. I know who I am. Mm. I know what I do. I know, like, you know, what, what I need to, to the world, if you want to say that. And when you know who you are and you're comfortable in your skin and you're comfortable with your 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 life and your morals and your values and your principles shit, nobody can't knock you up your square it's not that easy to just like you know just come and, and move me like it, it's just not like it's just not directly um a real threat a real life threat that's right. harming me right physically like I, I i don't entertain it i'm i'm the red i tell people so i'm the red wire you know you watch the movies and they be like, they got to call in the bomb specialist and you just got to, uh, all the other wires can stay there. But the red wire, that's the one that needs to be attached for the bomb to blow up. <laughs> you got to be careful with that one, right? You got the red careful. wire, and I'm aware of that. Mm. Rem, did you go into 2023? One, you got three events this year, right? Am I right on that? Four. Four events, partner, partner. So did you go into the year wanting that, knowing that's the goal? We want four events? Um, yes. Yes, that was that's, that was my goal last year, and that was my goal right. this year. I did four each year. I did um, this year was the anniversary card in February, the grudge card in June. So I do what I want in September and cancel Christmas in December. And I yeah. feel like they they all did what they were supposed to do, if not better. And um, next year the same the same thing. Mm. You know, the next year the same thing. Talk to me real quick and. and, and about this card you had cancel Xmas and everything like that. Um, did you put these matches together yourself? Um, I did, and then there's a collaboration because I talked to the artist. Um, okay. I have ideas um, about who I want to see put together, and then I want the artist to be inspired because I feel like we get better matchups and we get better matches and we get better material when the artists want to battle each other. Mm. A lot of times in, in this culture, you know, due to circumstances beyond their control, people take battles that they don't necessarily want to take for different reasons, for monetary reasons, mm. um, for the opportunity. Um, just and, and it's not necessarily the best thing for their career or for their, you know, their, their career path. And I feel like when it comes to Chrome, like my, my goal is to make people feel comfortable the reason why uh, i am who i am and i'm and i'm so comfortable in my skin because i have almost every job i have i love my job right like it, and and when you go into work happy like you ever go through a drive through or some shit and it's not to be picking on people that work in food service but you ever go through a drive through and they just so now you like damn like if you don't like your job just it like but you know why they salty though man we know why they salty though that bad it'd be that bad my goal when it comes here like i don't want people to come into work disgruntled right. i don't want them upset because they just was on a flight where they had to sneak their bag on because the bag didn't the carry on didn't come with the flight i don't want people mad because they, they felt like the hotel was dirty i don't want people mad because they felt like 
you know, they weren't getting paid what they should get paid for whatever they're about to do. Um, or they don't like their hair or their makeup or their outfit. Just anything that could possibly make you feel uncomfortable or make you um, worried about anything other than your material and your craft, I try to eliminate that. I try to alleviate that. I want you to be like, yo, this is somebody I want to battle. This is somebody who I'm inspired to write for and, mm -hmm. and try to get the best product like that. So, yes, I come up with it, but there's also a lot of um input from the artists i asked them like oh who, who do you want to battle who do you think your fans want to see you battle so we have discussions like that and and that's how i come up with you know the final product you, a second ago rem you just used the word eliminate right how do you eliminate being taken advantage of um you have to have standards you have to have standards you have to have boundaries and you have to stick by them because the only way you can be taken advantage of, well, well, not the only way, because there's sometimes where people are just nice. Like people talking to somebody, I'm be too nice. That's, like, what I'm contrary, that's what I'm asking you that. That's what I'm asking you that. That's contrary to popular belief, I'm really not an asshole. And you're I haven't, not, you're um, not. You're not. I haven't um, met anybody who's actually met me and spoke to me and talked to me and um, had conversations with me that could tell you that. They'd be lying. That they, they would, and um, sometimes people feel like they're taking advantage of me. First, I'm not dumb at all, like right, right, not right. even a little bit. Right. So you may feel like you're taking advantage, or you feel like you're getting over, but I'm just being who I am. So where it may feel like something to somebody else to me is really nothing. And, and to give like an example, like there's been times where, and this is not not a battle rap, but there'll be a time where. I'll do something for somebody. I'll take them somewhere. I'll um, give them shit, make sure the outfit is good. Like, are you good? Yeah, like, like say if it's an so, associate of mine. All right, here, you good? I right, we. I want to make sure I'm the type of person. If I know how I'm looking. I'm going to look like a movie. I'm throwing that shit on it wherever you go. So if you with me, like, even if you don't have it, I'm going to do what I have to do to make sure, yeah, to make sure that we all look like we're coming from and going to the same place. Mm -hmm. And, um, I like to move a certain way. So we're gonna be in VIP. We're gonna eat certain shit. We're gonna move a certain way. And people may feel like they got over, like, oh yeah, she was out there, yo, we was this. That's just how I am. That's how I live. So to me, it's not to, to nothing. To you, it's like the, the biggest thing ever. And you think you got over, but once I get wind of that, now it's fucking clips for you. <laughs> now you're done. <laughs> Cause I can. I can also the same way I could, I, I turn it on because that's who I am. I, I'm it very off. great at turning it the fuck off. Right. Like so, a, a lot of times, you know, people may be like, "Oh, she just flipped. She just switched. It's not that. Like you flipped or you changed." And I'm just acclimating to to the to the climate, to the temperature. But you are Gemini, though. My son's a Gemini. Y'all are twins. My son's June 9th. You're a Gemini. I know y'all give it up too. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know give, give it up. You know what I mean? Are you are you too accessible? Um, some people may feel like that. Some people may feel like um, I could just call them. I could just, but it works two ways. I have to answer. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I have to. I have to answer. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. people can't just come to my crib. People can't just like you have. You have to call me. You have to, you know, be in touch with me. But. I've never, I've never moved like, oh, I'm above talking to certain people. Oh, you gotta go through this person. You gotta go you through this like Because that. a lot of times, mm -hmm. a lot of times things get misconstrued in, in the communication because I have management and I have, you know, assistants and they may not, they, they don't think how I think. So while uh, they may feel like somebody, like who is they? They don't even, like I've had that before. Like, I don't even think like they deserve to talk to you. I don't feel like that about people. I feel like I put everybody on the same plateau. Right. So, you know, you could be the biggest artist and you could be an upcoming artist and I'm gonna treat them all the same. Is Jen still part of your squad? Who? Jen. Well, she, you had an assistant that used to get in contact with me. She was mad cool. Oh, Jen, Jen. I'm like, huh? Yeah, I Jen, Jen, that's my bad. Part of some, part I'm of sorry. Some. I'm like, who the She was real Jen? cool, real cool sister, um, man. Jen, she was, um, she started out as, she's a PR, she does PR. So I had brought her in when I first started Chrome 
to like, you know, just put schedules together and do things like that. Um, after the, I think the second event, the ladies and gentlemen, where everything just went wrong. And I was like, I have to be at the helm because you can have, like I said, you can have people that work for you, but they don't think how you think. It's very rarely like, and that's why it's so hard for me to have assistants and managers and things like that, because I need somebody that thinks how I think. If I got to tell you every single thing, or you have to ask me about everything, then, you know, what, what is the point? And I'm not saying that was the case with Jen. Right, right, I'm right, saying right. like, that's why it's hard for me to have that because I I don't even know how to think. I might do something one way 95% of the time. In this particular case, I want to do something differently. And um, I think after that event, I knew that I had to be on every set from the bookings to the hotels to the venue because I yeah. want things to look a certain way. It was only the second... Um, it was only the second event that I had ever did. So it was hard for people to even understand what I want. I still wasn't even really sure what I wanted. So moving forward from there, I think she came for the first um, tournament, the mm. first, first leg of the tournament. And, and and that's like, after that, I just was like, you know what, well, let me just do this the way I need to do it. So I'm very, very hands-on. So that's also why people may feel like I'm so accessible because I do everything. When I get to that point, which I feel like I'm almost there, I don't even want to have to, I'm not even going to be calling people because I don't have to now. I set it up that way. So I could make a list. This is the matches I want to see. Call, figure it out, map the numbers, send the contracts, pick a venue. People know what I look for in the venue. Now my team that I have who have been with me since the beginning, they know walking in like, she's not going to like this venue. This is not Chrome. <laughs> this is not Chrome approved. <laughs> or... Right. She's not gonna agree to that number or this edit of the chair. Like I literally sit on the um computer for hours with my cameraman editing my trailers myself. I don't I'm not pressing the buttons, but I'm there like now nah, we need a more dramatic music here. Nah, take that clip out. All right, move this one around. All right, can we pan in? Can we slow this down? Like I'm there, like spending a lot of time and effort into it because I want it to be and look a certain way. And I think that's why. Chrome has been so successful in such a short period of time because I'm I'm passionate about it and, and I want my shit to be a certain way and I'm gonna do whatever it takes to to make sure that that's what it is. So your trailers are fire though. Your Thank trailers you. are fire. Though. I'm not going. I'm trying to be fire though. Um, two more question, man. How did you feel when you were able to get Couture and Coffee? How disappointed you were that bad did not happen though? Um. Never, never disappointed because I know I, I'm going to always do everything in my power to try to make things go through. Right. With the rescheduling and me moving things around, trying to accommodate everybody, um, it just didn't work because she, some, like I said, a lot of people in this, this, some of them, this is all they do. And then some of them, they have other obligations. They have children, they have husbands, they have wives, they have girlfriends, they have other jobs. And, um, and they don't live locally. Like if she lived in New York where the event was, it probably would have been a lot different. Um, and I tried everything I, I could to make sure that it happened, that if it happened, uh, even as far as, you know, doing a battle outside of the, that particular day and then dropping it into the stream. But because of the magnitude of the battle, we need the crowd, we need, you know, a certain thing. And, and I wasn't upset because I've had a very strong card. That's why I also build my cards the way I do. So if we do lose a match like a tour versus Coffee Brown, we still have a clip in C3. We still have Jazz and Big K. We still have QB and E-Heart. Like, you know what I'm saying? We still have a very full card. And um, I've been in communication with both of them, and it's it's still going to happen. We just don't know. But that card, that, that, we just missed that. We needed that, though. We just needed the, coffee. So, um, so imagine the, the, the Friday night with coffee and couture literally dropped dead in the middle. It had been perfect. It would have been perfect. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, do certain things are beyond our control. And um, I don't get upset. I don't get mad. Like, would I like to have it happen? Absolutely. Would I have loved to be able to see coffee um, battle two nights in a row? And I know that she was more than capable and prepared to do it. Right. Yes. Um. Do I think that it affects anything ultimately? No, my card was still a great card. My event was still a great event. Um, 
Corpy is still very much in the run-ins for voting. That didn't affect anything there. And um, yeah, it's, it's going to happen. And in any field, you have things that don't always fall through. Like something had to go wrong. Things was going a little too according. So I, I've always planned for the unplanned. Booking a battle on a Friday, how risky was that? Um, I don't know to anybody else. I never thought it was risky. It's, it's Friday night. Like, um, I actually like it better than any of the other ones that I've had. I've had battles on Saturday. I've had battles on Sunday. Sundays, I like Sundays, too. Yeah, yeah. Sundays, well, Sunday is what I mostly do because I thought I liked Sunday better than Saturday. Um, I really like Friday night. I really like <laughs> Friday night. Look at your face when you said that. I why don't, why don't, is this, is because this, um because okay so here's what it was right. now i apologize to um anyone that was waiting i got caught in the most crazy traffic you know in jersey you make one wrong turn and you're in tokyo over it's over so i missed the fucking exit uh, and then when i came through the tunnel you know if you're not in the right side of the tunnel where you need to go that's gonna take you uptown instead of uh, downtown so it was like two wrong things that got me they're late so i was late everybody else was on time avocado yeah. was ready to stream um bada and sp was um like on deck they commentating all the battles was in the building i was mm. the one that was behind so i apologize for that um and i was driving myself i had a lot of things that's going on my daughter she turns five on thursday wow, okay, I'm, planning. Child, five years old. Yeah, <laughs> I'm planning her party so i personally normally i have a drive and things like that i was driving and um it, it just threw it up, but we literally got in there when I walked in the building at nine o'clock. By eleven forty, the battles is done. So a two and a half hour event, I'm I'm cool with that. Mm. I'm cool, and I feel like it probably could have even been quicker than that. Like the um towards the end, we had went over time and I had to go throw the um the owner of the club a few bands so he could relax. But um that's why it's always good to have cash. Cash is cash is like the best thing ever. Like people just be talking crazy. You can talk all that. I'll, I'll, I'll sell you. I'll cash at you. When it's in their face, like, here, please, be quiet. Thank you. Turn the lights off. It works better. But um, we were able to literally start the event at like 9, 9 something, and we were done by 11, 1140. We, when we came out the building, we're talking. I'm talking to Kay. I'm talking to Moo. We're like, yo, we're going to Pergola. Yo, let's go get something to eat, then go to the club. Like, we're already in the city. It's already lit. We haven't been in the building. I've been at Battle Rap events before. We're over at eleven thirty, and we've been in there since one o'clock. Yeah, you understand. So to yeah. be Friday night, if you got a job, the kids you consider, you finish, everything's cool. Mm -hmm. You go home, you change, you in the building eight thirty. We start eleven o'clock. We out of here. Where we going? Right. We're going to eat, and we going to the club. So mm -hmm. I, I really enjoyed Friday night. I did. I think I'm a, um probably look into that like further for the future. Okay. Also, too, it doesn't take people's whole weekend. If you mm. have plans to do something on Saturday or on Sunday, you good. Mm. How did you feel about all the cards mixed in for one weekend? How you feel about that? Um, I thought it was okay. I did, I didn't agree with it. Like people, I, I heard people, you know, saying I was being petty because I was doing that. Like let's let's be clear, my date was always October tenth. <laughs> um, I moved it. I moved it, and that's and that's why we ended up not getting coffee and couture. I should have just left it. But mm -hmm. um, I'm not. I'm not gonna do an event on the same day as another league in the same city on the same day if I can change it. Gotcha. Like it, it's not gonna be lucrative for either because people are gonna be forced to choose. If I could be the the person that's like, all right, we're gonna move to this date, then then that's what we're gonna do. I still sold out every ticket. Still had a lawn down the block and around the corner, packed building, great battles. It didn't it didn't hurt me. I I got um a battle that wasn't able to happen because of it, which I didn't anticipate. But um, you know, it's it's still in the bag, it's done. Mm -hmm. Like I it's, it's gonna happen. But I think that um it's cool. I, I could have put it the week before, but I didn't feel like people would come out two weeks in a row to the city. Um, for battles, but the whole culture doesn't live here in, in well, live there in New York. I'm not in New York right now, but um, the whole culture doesn't live there. Like, I don't want to do that to the fans. So I'm like, okay, if people are already coming in for an event on Sunday, 
they may come in on Saturday. Since they're there on Saturday, they're going to go to that event too. All right, how about this? Mine is on Friday, come through Friday night, y'all good, wake up the next day and make it like a whole battle. It, it, like if people just work together, it would, it would be so, it would be so much better. But, you know, that's like too much like, right. But I did, I did, was I was talking to Babs and that's how I ended up because I was on Saturday after I moved it from Sunday. And and I knew what the talk was gonna be and what the what the presumptions was gonna be if we both had an event on that Saturday. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, she tried to she tried to see if she could do Friday and she couldn't move it and eventually I was able to pull it off. I had to take a loss on my deposit for my venue, but it wasn't really a fully loss. I can always do something there later. They they honored my deposit to move to another date. And that's what I did. Did I have to? No. But I think it was for the better. It's the, it made it great. I think the fans and, and the battle is appreciated too. Do you think the culture try to pit you against Queen of the Ring? Do I think what? The culture tries to put you against Queen of the Ring and URL? Um, I think the culture does, but I think some things that are done by the leagues themselves also make it appear to be that way. Not so, just the culture. So, so do you, you think know, you we all play a part. Do you think you are about to do some sucking shit on December 8th, dropping a battle event at 8 o'clock when you're um, starting? I don't know. You have to ask them that. I'm asking you that, man. I don't really know how suckers move. So, like, you know, it's unpredictable. I can't really tell. I can tell you how real niggas move. Did you think that was uh -huh. some funny style shit? Did I think it was some funny shit? Some funny style shit that um, they did. I don't, I don't feel like it affected me. So okay. I, I'm never going to look at it like, Oh, niggas is dropping this. Like, I don't think about other people. When I'm doing what I'm doing, I'm doing me. I'm doing RAM. I'm doing Chrome. I'm not looking at what anybody else is, is trying to do or is doing. Like, they can do whatever they want. They can drop whatever they want on whatever days. Like I said, it didn't, uh, if it was uh, an intentional thing to do to me, it didn't affect anything. And I, and I don't understand what would be the purpose of that like what like what would they what would have been the reason what are they trying to affect now i'm gonna ask you that what would the reason because so, i have seen recently you were saying hey if they gave you a check you would work for them if you were working for them <laughs> and, um, that. first of all you was working, say that. If you were working don't do that and you were part don't of the the company Man. what would be your reason for dropping events that already happened on the same day and at the same t start time as my event well, somebody that's been there for a long time. I mean, I just think that why drop it? Why drop a um an event or a, a, a thing on on, on your channel the same day time? Y'all know Remy got her car going on. As a blogger and as a battle rap fan, I did think that was kind of wild, a little weird. I don't know. And this is just me. I'm I I'm the total <laughs> opposite. I'm like okay. That's just me. That was a little weird. More battle rapper for everyone. Yeah. Hey, when y'all finish yeah. this, y'all can y'all can watch the live. Hey, my sh guess what? My shit started a little bit late. Go watch some of these battles that if you don't have the app, you may not have seen yet to hold you over. When I start, come back. Right. right. Like I look at, I always try to look at shit like, because I could always be on bullshit timing and think everybody's on bullshit, but I always try to see the the good in something because I don't I don't want to be in that space. Like I I enjoy doing this. I like my job i like what i'm doing and um i don't really have time to to waste on trying to figure out why other people are moving how they move okay did you think big k and, and jazz lived up to the hype um i think they did a great job i think both of them did a really great job i think that they both um took their opponent as serious as they could but it, it felt different in the building standing in front of them like i could see like you know both of them like okay this is this is not as easy as i thought it was gonna be like that's what i got from them and um i felt like it, it was a, a, a great battle i think the the battles all night was, was a, a good event do you think it wasn't it didn't live up to that were you underwhelmed I wasn't underwhelmed, but I've heard better jazz. And it said jazz is choppy in the second round. A lot of choppy stumble itis that she never really has on career. This is the most stumble she's ever had on career in that second round. Why do you think so? Why do you think that may have been so? That's a very that part I, I can't know, sis. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't I'm not privy to know that. 
I don't, I don't even want to dig into the brain. I'm just going off on the optics and what I actually saw when I'm watching the pay per view. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm not go okay. Off so, but overall, she, the content was still good though. It is a little ch choppy in this here and there and stuff like and, that. I thought, BK, was right. I thought BK was. I thought Jazz first round was phenomenal. My MVP of the night is E Hart. Let me make sure I put that out there. Hart <laughs> was the undisputed MVP of Chrome Twenty to cancel Christmas, in my opinion. She was just was flawless. So three rounds. I thought she had the best three rounds out of anybody the whole night. Respect mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Really good. Um, yeah. And I'm happy for that. We've had. Um, some bumps in the road. E Hart was one of the people that I reached out to when I did my first initial Chrome 23 card. Mm -hmm. And um, I think she was supposed to battle Vixen mm -hmm. um, on the first Chrome 23 card and it didn't it didn't happen. And then she came back again in the tournament and um, there was you know discrepancies of whether or not she should have actually you know lost to, to her opponent. And um, I didn't feel good about that. Yeah. Each other. I thought she'd yeah. be other. Um, listen, I, I I don't even want to talk about it anymore. I'm, I think I'm back in her good graces. I don't want to know more. I don't want no problems for anybody. But um, I'm, I'm I'm happy that she came out and and we got a battle that people have been wanting to see for years. Mm. And um, she did a good job. She did a really good job. We'll definitely, you know, if, she, if she's open to it, we'll definitely see, you know, her on Chrome again. I think oh, she's yeah. one of those who, who's, whose pen, whose talent is ex exceptionally, you know, well, but for whatever reason, she doesn't get the, the opportunities that some of the other girls get. Absolutely. I don't like C3. That's why I go so hard for C3 as well. Mm. I feel I like she's doing I want Shayna to come back. I think Shayna Ashley has she she's done good on Chrome. She you does know? so so here's the thing. Shayna wasn't on this card because Shayna was on the past three cards. Mm. Like she was in the tournament. Um, then she was on the grudge card. She didn't get to rap rap because of you know um the lack of raps that we got from her opponent. But hence why I came right back and put on the I do what I want card right after and gave uh, you know, her, the opponent that she had there. And I I couldn't do another third one like right there. Like I mean, I could, but I try, I try to pace it out and space it out with some of the newer girls, some of the older girls, um, and and like I say all the time, it's pretty much impossible for one league to put every person on every card. Even if I was only strictly doing only females, it's impossible. Like and and also I feel like because the lack of big star or known you know people with notoriety that are females in battle rap you know it's it's hard to put mm -hmm. together a all-female card that people are really going to invest in without using a lot of the names that people know already mm -hmm. and even well, when you do that like you you run the risk of you know it not being what we want it to be I, I you know i think dad said something one of her rounds i've seen interviews you know throughout the year where people are upset because i pointed out like how the community doesn't really support females they're not really you know bringing in the money like if y'all want me to be here if y'all want me to be able to give you an opportunity and a platform to perform on i have to make money i love the culture and i love the crap but not to the point that i'm just gonna pour my hard right, earned right, money right, from right. my mm -hmm. other ventures into it just to give it away like it has to be i have to be good on the return so when i when i feel like i came up with a genius plan okay we're going to make it an uh, intergender one and we're going to use some of the bigger male names some of the people that draw the guys in, in order for y'all to see them battle or to see that battle you have to watch the battle this woman you have to watch these women battle before we get to that battle you have to buy the whole thing you can't buy the battle because i'm pretty sure if I did a card and I put some um, male on male battles, some intergender battles, and all females, and I made people pay for each battle individually, mm -hmm. you would see what the numbers look like. People, they just they just don't. But when you have a card where you have a big K and a Jazz on it, and before you get to that, you sit in there and you have to watch a Q B and E hard. You like, oh, hold up, surely nice. You know what I'm saying? Or you get to see somebody like. Taz, who's literally only been rapping for about a year or two, come up, want to come up. Like, right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You have to see it because you're waiting to see clips in C3. 
You understand? So that like people may not un- understand or may not agree with my my method of what what I'm doing, but the doors is open. Like anybody's welcome to start their own league, put their own money into it, book the talent, and then talk to me after and tell me. Tell Good me. luck with that. Good luck with that, Ralph. No, no, like no, tell me. Tell me, you know, right. how 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 it turns out. Mm. Wow. Did you feel did you feel a way when some girls had discrepancies? They felt that you were putting too much men on the stage though. Do you feel a way about that when girls was out there saying that out there on Front Street? Or do you feel they should have came to you and speak to you? Yeah, I can tell by your face you didn't care about that. No, because at the end of the day, I do what I want. It's my money. Can't nobody tell me who the fuck to give my I money to. I do it's what I my want. company. Can't nobody tell me how to hey. run my company for the greater good. I don't give a fuck. I, I've had people who had leads, but who tried it. They want to advise me. You can't advise me on shit when your shit failed. Don't tell. I don't want your advice. Because if you had so much great advice, you do it yourself. Mm. And that's how I feel about it. You you can't please everybody all the time. I don't give a fuck how nice you are, Absolutely. how generous you are, Absolutely. how how healthy you are. There's always going to be somebody who you didn't cater to because everybody is an individual with their own opinions and their own feelings and their own emotions. So you just, it's just impossible to make everybody happy. Do I feel like the majority of the people who I've worked with and who I've booked have had a great experience at home and um, are welcome to coming back or love to come back, have reached out to me all the time asking when they can come back? 98.9%. Even some of the people that have issues I don't feel like if I called them, they'd be like, nah, I'm not doing it because it was that horrible. But people can feel a way that they, because they have their own, they have their own agenda and their own goals. So certain shit, my goals and my agenda is not going to align with what they're doing. But what you don't understand is this shit is not easy. It's not. Like I thought it, I didn't, I didn't think it was easy, but I didn't think it was going to be as difficult as it is. When you have a card, say for instance, my whole full card before um, any battles didn't happen. I'm dealing with 10 different individuals from 10 different walks of life that like, and I'm trying to make them all mesh and, and come together to make one cohesive card. So I'm dealing with 10 different schedules, 10 different contracts, 10 different, you know, requests and requirements. And, and sometimes some people are not going to be happy, but I try my best and I can say this like wholeheartedly to accommodate everyone, including myself, because I have to, I have to be the happiest first Absolutely. and then, you know, everyone else comes after, but, um, you have to listen when people are disgruntled about something. Some people just be talking because they got the baby talking, Absolutely. but Absolutely. I listen to the good and the bad because there is um there's benefits in critiques there's benefits and the people that are not happy okay what can i do in the future to avoid this because i i don't like i said my goal is to have everyone in the space where we get the best possible product we don't get that if somebody's unhappy about something what did i do to make you feel like that how can we fix that in the future and then there's some people that they're just unreasonable and unstable and you can't even work with them. It's just Thank like, you. okay, this, this is not going to work. I, oh. I, that's that's a thing, too. Mm-hmm. And there may be some people, I've had people where we talk to me like, but Ryan, why can't you negotiate? And I'm like, I'm not negotiating. I don't want to negotiate that. And I'm not being an asshole, but that's something that I'm not willing to bend on, and we can talk again later. And that's fine, too. That doesn't mean that you have to hate me or that yeah. I hate you. It's just we can't agree on something. And I, and I don't have a problem telling people that, like, I disagree with that. Or there's times where I disagree with something, like, I just, I'm going to do it, but I disagree with it. And in the future, this will never happen again. We'll never be at this point again. Wait, wait, wait. Would you invite Tori Doe back? Absolutely not. No, I wouldn't. Did you see it? Did you see, did you feel that this battle was going left at any, before she started rapping? Did you feel that way? Um, I think there are things outside of battle rap that, that, that may have been an issue. And, and I, and I kind of called it about a month or so, like during when we were filming in the trailers, but I give everybody an opportunity. Like what I'm saying, I've had people judge me and treat me a certain way, assuming that they knew what the outcome was going to be. 
And I don't like to do that to people. So, you know, I gave her the opportunity. Um, would I book her again on my card? No, I wouldn't because I feel like there's so many other people that would love that shot and that opportunity that I can give a chance to before I give her another chance. Mm. Um, do I feel like she is like just this horrible person? No, no because I feel like it is something that was outside of me that was beyond my control. But because of the opportunity, I know what I present as a league owner and, and the platform, and I know what how much I put into it. I wouldn't give it to her again, knowing that there's so many other people waiting to get it. So that's right. the main reason why I would be a, a no. Makes sense, makes sense for the world. Did you expect Tony Blanco to be, and Chirac to be a good battle or a mess? Before? I did, I did. I did. I it was gonna be a mess and it was a dope ass fucking battle. No, I mean, first, battle. first of all, they both, um, shout out to both of them, regardless of, you know, what I don't know what anybody else thinks about them, but they were both very professional. Um, they both, they really didn't like, you know, rock with each other and they were able to, you know, be women and be adults and put all that aside so that we can get the material and the product. And um, I, I love both of them. I, I can't wait to have Tony back. Um, and Chirac, I literally spoke to her yesterday. I was calling checking out, you need makeup? You good? I tried to send my makeup girl to go make sure she was good before she um, go perform. And um, I'm gonna tell my stars, I don't mean to cut your wisdom. Let me get this right. You call Chirac, knowing Chirac is at a different league, but still call and show love to her to see if she's good. Absolutely. Why would I not? I'm people not don't, gonna, people um, don't do that in this culture, man. Please understand that, love. Please. But but she she she's not the only one. I do it because like I'm not if you are you're on calm, yes. I want you to look a certain way, I want you to be a certain way. It costs me nothing to call me like, yo, have a good battle. She has a great battle. When when I book her again, she's the girl that just had a great battle over here. Right. Or if she looks good, I want her to look how she looks when she's going grown. Like, so it's, if I could send my makeup artist over there, which I was so mad because it was last minute she couldn't make it, but then I could do that. And I've done that for other girls. There's been times where, um, like say like 40 bars, for instance, when she was supposed to battle coffee last time, and I'm like, what do you need? Do you need anything? Do you need a makeup artist? Do you need a hairstylist? Is your outfit good? Like, or or a hustle when she was battling Tay Rock. Um, yo, what you good? What you wearing? Like, that's that's just the type of person that I am. Because if you do good when you're on another platform, it only helps when you come to be right. on my platform. Right, benefits you. I'm not mad at you or penalizing you, but like, oh yeah, I hope you, I hope you lose because you go somewhere else. Like, right. that's that's that's. That's crazy. That's weird. Do you think Jazz won't smoke? With me? I be feeling like that sometimes. I, I know that. How about I feel that shit, man? How about I feel that shit? In her bones, and nah. she won't smoke. She nah, won't smoke. Um, I think Jazz is very competitive. Mm. And um, she she wants to even though like you know i've heard people accused of taking easy battles and she takes mm -hmm. battles that she thinks she can win mm -hmm. but um just after speaking to her and actually you know building a, a relationship with her that's not her goal at all like she wants to go down as one of the best and that have the battle the best so if you got a name and people revere you as being here or you she coming for you so I guess that's 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 a um it's like an honor like oh you want to come for me you must think I'm nice you think I'm nice right ah okay the um I love it I love it it it, it, it I, I I like her a lot like me as too. a person Jazz, good people Jazz good people like as a person I like her a lot mm -hmm. I'm happy that you know I was finally able to get her on Chrome and 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 I, I wish her the best I think um in 2024 yeah I don't know how long much longer she's gonna be doing this. But I think coming up into 2024, you know, she she has her mindset on, on what her plan is. And if she goes along with it, I guess you're going to have a great 2024. Do you get inspired by these ladies? Absolutely. 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 Um, it's impossible if you're an artist and you're standing that close 
to other creatives and you don't get inspired. I mean, unless they're super ass and like horrible, you know, like, but um, <laughs> I don't think I've ever had anybody that was that, that, that. Well, yeah, I do. But um, it's like, hold on one second, is that my phone? Oh, it's okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's okay, one second. Hello? Yes. Yes, Juju. Yes, yeah, send her up. Give, give her a key so she can, give her no, give her a key so she can get in the room as well. Okay, sure. Thank you. You mean Juju, Juju? Yes, Juju, Juju. <laughs> my best friend, Juju. Yes. That's your best friend. Yeah. Well, can, you, can you just do, can you do me a favor? Can you just let her know? I think she's a very beautiful woman, respectfully. Everybody does. Yeah, right. that's <laughs> you have eyes. Have eyes. This is the fire. But it's yes, fire. um, I'm I'm down. I'm actually I'm in your part of town. I'm in, I'm in Miami. How long are you here for? Um, I don't know yet. Okay. I don't know. Right. I don't right. know. Um, couple more questions so that's here, right man. Right after the um phone battle. Couple more, couple more questions here. Were you worried about Charlie Clips at all? No, I'm gonna tell you why. Um, one, I love clips. Um, he's one of like it's, it's certain people that I've met in this and that outside of battle rap, I like them as a person. And um, we had had a conversation. We were talking for like two days prior, and he literally was going through very per like a personal situation where. His, he could have a kid any second. Right, 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 right. And it wasn't yeah. just like a smooth sim. It was like, you know, it was like little, you know, things that was going on. I don't want to tell his business, but it wasn't right. it wasn't a great situation. That like if he would have said, Ram, I can't come, I would have totally understood. Wow. Like I but I told him I said, listen to me. I'm I'm the, and I was very honest when I said, yo, if this doesn't happen, they're gonna kill you, but they're gonna kill me. <laughs> like <laughs> they're gonna kill me. Um, what do I need to do to make sure you that he's like, Grandma, I got you. I promise you, I got you. And I was like, I, and I left it alone. I said, I trust you. Whatever happens, whatever decision you need to make, that that's what we're going to do. And not only did he have me with being there, being on time, he came and he was rapping. You understand? Mm -hmm. And and I like, I like, I felt like a proud mom. <laughs> I don't know if I'm, I'm sure I'm not older than his mom, but I felt like a proud mom, like, yes, like every, every round, I was just like, yes, yes, yes. So, um, I, I, I feel like. His blogging scheme was ass though, but it's okay. I, that was my favorite part. Yes, it was ass, bro. That was, was my ass. favorite part. <laughs> you ain't like, you ain't like the little, your little shot in there. No, it was you know, ass. Like, look, you, you made the cut. A lot no, of people make the cut. Me and Clips got a love hate, hate relationship. You know what I mean? Ah, it's okay. I'm on. I'm doing my interview, and um, he said to tell. He's like, they called and said, Juju. Can I say hi? Can I say hi? He's like, Juju. No, you cannot say hi. I'm like, can I say hi? Can I say hi? she's very tall. She's very. Deep. I'm like, bro. Everywhere with eyes, knows that hush up. But um, she, she said, she said, thank you. Why are you hating though? Why are you hating though right now? Oh, why am I hating? <laughs> Where's your where's your girlfriend? I'm Yo, chill, chill, chill. That, not that I, bring her in. Call in. Let, let, let's just get on. Let's see if she's okay with you wanting to say hi. All right, here. let's get on. Let me keep here. Is Chrome going on the road? Um yes. Okay. Yes. Um, right this second. I we were supposed to do my the car before this one was supposed to be in Texas. I wanted it in the middle. So that you know, um, it would be. I just I just wanted it to be in Texas, so that we'll be in the middle of Cali, East Coast and West Coast. Bring but it to um, it's huh? You got connections in Miami. Got connections out here. I do, I do. But this is this is the problem. I'm gonna tell you what it is. I know this may come as a shock, but I have other jobs, <laughs> and I, I have. A, and as a kid, absolutely, absolutely, <laughs> that, that, that goes to school. She's young, I got so it, I got like it. me being away, like mm -hmm. 
I would have to literally map it out months ahead so I can see the venue so that I can, you know, do the hotel thing. Like I'm from New York. Um, I am New York. Like I know everything about it. I know how to get from point A to point B. Like, oh, what happened? You where? All right. Like a lot of times these artists are not from wherever the, the battle is. Right, right, right. And right, right. it would be much harder for me to navigate and, you know, help them navigate when I don't really know the the arena. I don't really know, you know, the playing field, that's what you want to call it. So it just makes it easier for me to work in New York. Also, I feel like, you know, battle rap for so long was out of New York. Mm. And now look, in one weekend, we have four different leagues all in New York. Look at, look at Chrome. I mean, look at God. <laughs> I like <that. laughs> Oh, all right. Hold on. Tournament. Are we having a tournament next year? Yes. Okay. Yes. That's what I'm working on right now. That's the next thing that we'll see. Male, female, you know, gender, or what is it? Um, well, you guys have to wait and see. I'm about part of. I'm about. I have to ask these questions. Gotta wait and see. You wait when the trail when the trailer drops. We'll see what we get. But um, we have to do the tournament because remember, whoever wins the tournament, they battle on the anniversary card. Anniversary card, right, right, right. So right. um, like I'm I'm establishing things. So we have an anniversary card. We have the cancel Christmas. Whatever my card December is, we'll have a cancel Christmas card. Hmm. Um, I'm I'm trying to work in these these staples that have become a Chrome thing. I think I kind of got the trailers locked in. Obviously, even that, I love it. I love to see people stepping up their trailer game. People are like putting a few dollars and you know sending the cameraman out. Like let's let's get into you know, people spend a lot of money on battle rap, whether it's events, whether it's buying merch, whether it's pay per views, even if it's just like you know lifting the morale of the artists by supporting them, um, they deserve you know to get the full rollout. Well, I thought it was I thought it was nice of you to tell Taz on Twitter this morning. I think he told us she she's gonna be in the tournament, right? I'm gonna put in the tournament. I'm gonna so, put in the tournament. Okay. I feel like. You know, there's there's a couple of girls that they they may feel like, oh damn, why well, I mean, call me, I'm out here. There's like, I got child. Listen, just just give me, give me, patience, give me a patience. moment, give me a moment. But it's because it's a couple of people that fucked it up already. They said some shit. And I'm like, what? Oh, hold on. Where my list? <laughs> You're <laughs> out of here. <laughs> the different kind of stage this time, right? Was it the stage you had for this event? Yeah, it different, it was, right? Um, it was more like it wasn't pit style, but mm. it wasn't big stage. I wanted something that was in the middle. I underestimated. I underestimated the the crowd. Um, I definitely could have probably used about two hundred and fifty more space or about two hundred fifty more people because it was tight. People were standing on the couches. It looked like they were just hanging from the ceilings, but um. Overall, great event. I loved it because it was that grunginess that it, it gave you, like, kind of like what we get when we're watching the trenches. It gave you that grungy, grimy feel, but it also gave you that big presence of a, a chrome event. So, um, I think I think the venue. I, I, I like the the setup of what we did. Are you working on Easy and Rock? <sighs> I'm always working on something. I'm always working on something. I think um, that's something that is, at this point is probably past the artist. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to talk to the powers that be in order for us to come to an agreement. Like I'm always open for making things happen. Like I, I don't feel like I'm unreasonable. Like I don't feel like you know I'm, I'm difficult to work with. So. If there's a way that that can happen, because I believe both uh, both of them want it, they both really want it. It's just about where and when and how to make it happen. Mm. So, yeah. Last time you you the last time you wrote a rap was when. The last time I wrote a rap. You wrote a rap, yeah. Like you, me? Yes, you man. Um, probably three days ago, maybe. Three days ago. Yeah. See, I know Remy the rap store. These new niggas know you from Chrome 23, rebranding Remy. I'm I'm from the era of you on DVD with Orlando Magic outfit on and rapping <laughs> for niggas. And, and yeah. you motherfuckers. I'm from that era. You know what I'm saying? I'm from that era of Remy Ma. You know what I'm saying? Mm, you know what I'm saying? Album going off. I'm from that era and shit, though. I'm, I'm, I'm down here now working. I'm working. Album? Album? 
Yo, let me get a skit. <laughs> let me do the intro. I'm, I'm, talk a skit. I'm, a Brooklyn, I'm a Jamaican Brooklyn nigga. I can talk a lot of shit for you. I'm this is the beginning of, of there. You know but, what I'm saying? Um, I'm, I'm, really a, I'm really a rapper. Like, I know it's hard to believe because I do so much other shit, but huh? I, 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 really, I really do this. Give me, a, the, give me the top three chrome cards that you've had in the last couple of years. The top three cards, in your opinion. Uh, top three? Um... I'm biased to one of them, I get it. Well, you're biased to one? Because I was at the Easy Hit Man. I was there in the building. The electricity in that motherfucker so, was crazy. Um, The anniversary card absolutely was crazy. I love the anniversary card. Um, But Queens Get the Money, my first card, was, was really special to me. Like, I felt like the battles were great. Everybody was excited. You know, it was before all the, the, the extra politics and shit started coming in. Like, I... I Everything was what I, I envisioned it to be. And then um, I will also say my my first, the first leg of the tournament, I had 16 girls from all different tiers, from vets and top tiers to people that, you know, was hot mm-hmm. doing their thing right now to people that was up and coming. And we had eight battles in one day and just the, the, the energy of people trying to pick who should be given to who moves on like just everything and it also i learned a lot i learned a lot in that tournament because it took away me having to put who with this person who gets paid what and flying people and we knew where it was going to be we knew what hotel they were staying in we knew who was battling who we knew how much they was getting paid it was like after that first one i didn't even have to pick the first battle I literally put everybody's name in a drum, spun that shit around, and pulled yeah, it out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when I pulled out C3 and 40 for the first one, I was like, what? Wait, mm. what? Like, QB. And I, like when they was just coming out, I was like, yo, God is so crazy. Like, why are you doing this? But I felt like that was the only way that I could do it so people didn't feel like I was picking sides or, you know, trying to, you know, set it up a certain way for somebody particular to win or not win. Two more questions here. Um, audio, audio issues a little time on this. Did you, did, you, did you get feedback on that? A little bit of audio issues? Or the PBV? I had audio issues on, on what? Yeah, on this chapter, part? Nothing crazy, nothing crazy. On, on Cancer Christmas? Yeah. No, not at all. Okay, okay. We, I didn't, I was not even aware that there were any audio issues A little issues bit not, not crazy, not crazy. Like what? Tell me, because you brought it up. Now you got to explain. It was one, it was one, don't go crazy, man. It was only one battle that it was a little audio issue. Nothing crazy, nothing Which crazy. Which one? I want to say it was, was it during um, Eat Heart? Not third round, I think it was. Like you oh, get... it was like a it was like a little just screechy. It was because yeah, that's all, that's right, 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 it was because right. my mic was on. I had to click my mic off. Why no face offs? Why no face offs? Um, two reasons. One, I was really busy. I hate, and I, I hate face offs. I I hate face offs. I feel like sometimes when it's like the matches where they absolutely hate each other then you know okay we can go on with a face up but i feel like in this particular case um i don't feel like it was absolutely necessary i'm, I'm i actually have a plan on how i want to move forward like i like the behind the scenes where you know i'm going i'm talking to them y'all seeing them preparing y'all seeing them get ready like that like we see face ups all the all the time mm-hmm. like the, what, what, I, what i'm doing here with foam like i don't want to do what everybody else is doing okay so i have gotcha. my own idea of how i want to i want to move around and just Due to my um schedule, everybody else's schedule. And I'm like, when I was talking to them, I was like, do y'all even really care about this? They're like, I don't really care about a face of like, we're gonna talk tomorrow. I'm like, all right, that's that's what we're doing. Like a, a lot of battlers, believe it or not, a lot of battlers hate the face offs. They hate it. Now, when I do them a month ahead or something like that, then that's a little bit different. But the night before, you don't really wanna be emotionally stirred the night before your battle. Like and 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 I don't either. I, I I like the night before we're doing hair. We're making sure everybody outfit is together. We chilling. Mm-hmm. That that's what I like doing the night before. All right, Mook or Twerk? Mook. Serious Jones or Gucci? Serious Jones. You, you got Jones? Are oh, you? Just... <laughs> he came to my event the other day. Gucci said he was coming and he didn't show up. You got smoke. <laughs> Just came in. Um, Big Bronx. 
Rex is Rex is and Rex is my my Rex guy. loves you. Rex loves you though. No, Rex, Rex, Rex is, loves you. Yeah, I love you. Rex is my guy. Yeah, really, yeah, really, really bad. bad. But um, like I'm I'm big Bronx. Also, I feel like um Rex is Rex, mm -hmm. regardless. Rex is gonna always be Rex. Like he's one of those that is there's, there's nothing you can do about it. He's gonna come, he's gonna come to rap, and we already know what type of time he's gonna. I feel like um Chess needs it a little bit more. He does. He I feel does. Like he, he needs does. it a little does. bit more. I feel like if if you know if he doesn't pull us off with Rex, I don't I don't like the um the picture that I see people trying the to optics. paint that I've already yeah I don't I don't like the optics <laughs> and I feel right. like and 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 I don't want that for him. I like Chess. I, I, I love Chess. My love, my love, love that boy. Person. Mm -hmm. So and the same thing. I and I love Rex. So I feel like Rex, take this with Rex. Just just let him win, Rex. Man, let them have it. <laughs> I got chest to one. I got chest to one. Um, Hustle and Us. I can't hear you. You're breaking up. My bad, Miss Hustle and Arsenal. Um, of course, I gotta go with Hustle. You don't have to, but okay. I mean, okay, you don't have I to. I mean, I mean, I don't, I don't have to, but um, Arsenal ain't make his way over here to Chrome yet. That's your that's your picks. You you yeah. grace your picks. I, oh, I base my picks on even <laughs> though even though hustle has been, been a little out of pocket in my personal opinion, but um, I'm just I I personally feel like she she's probably gonna win. I got hustle too. I feel like she's gonna win. She, she's hustle. great at what when it comes to this battle rap shit. She's great at what she does. Um, but let's not be clear. Uh, let's be clear. Arsenal is as well, but I just feel like. Um, in the setting in, in New York and Urban Plaza and also everything that's at state, I feel like she's she's gonna try to come, you know, here with it. Um and the disrespectful shit is just not gonna be enough. And and the the yelling and aggressive shit like she all the they have some of the same attributes. Mm. And of, of my opinion, when it comes from a female, it's always gonna go a little bit further than the guy, because we expect that from a guy. But um yeah. Yeah. Last one, Swamp and Lucastro. Um, I don't really know. I don't really know. Uh it it could go either way. It could go either way. I feel like um both of them have supported from from I think I've seen them at every event. Yes, I base my opinion on who supports me. I support Chrome, I do blogs in my Chrome um, jacket. Nigga, are you battling? What are you talking about? <laughs> as, a blog, as, a as a blogger, as a blogger, I've done. But, you know. um, no, I feel like um, both of them have a great quality. It could go either way. I, I, I don't really have a pick in. I don't have a pick in. Um, the only one that I feel, I feel like with Mook and Twerk, Mook, we ain't, Mook gotta win. Like that's it. Like it's not even up for discussion. Like you have to win. I don't like the. He has Mook to win. Come, yeah, I don't like the he can only win if he in New York. I don't like how people try to, you know, rewrite history, but like, oh, he's this, he's that. Like that that bothers me. I, I I'm one of those people like who who needs this more and what narrative does it create after? I got so to that's I I'm I'm a lot of people do. A lot of people do like let's be clear, um twerk is electrifying. He and he can be amazing on a stage. Like he's one of my, you know, my picks all the time. In this particular case, like I, I'm not. First of all, I don't want smoke with Mook. I don't want this nigga facetiming me at four thirty in the morning. Like, yo, you said what? Y'all seen that three shit? You said what? Are you crazy? I'm not. Yo, Mook will facetime. Yo, it's so funny you said that. Rep. True <laughs> story. Mook will facetime you if you got a, a bar wrong. If you picked the round he lost. That nigga will no, face we, you we, so we have a different com we have a different um we have a different everything. Conversations right. is different, mm -hmm. our relationship is different. Like literally, I'll be on FaceTime four or five in the morning with him and his girlfriend who happens to be a Gemini like me, and we be grinding his ass up together. But um, and the same thing, like I said, with, with Rex, Rex is my god. Like any mm -hmm. other time, like a Rex, but I feel like in this particular case, if Rex wins like i don't like what people will, will be trying to say about chess because i think ch chess is pretty good so i feel like and i, I want him well you know what i'd be better Let, i'm taking my my statement back let's get one of those if we can get a chess rex like the chess easy was i'd be happy with that you, we, that, get that one of those. this way this we way get one of those. Yeah, Shit. this way i can support both of them easy. that's what makes me that's what i actually aim for on my cards whenever i book people i want them to be 
equally good to where people can't even pick. That's what I aim for. Um, and even like with the um, Arsenal Hustle, like Arsenal is one of those people who says, they want your rent, you need me, I got you. Let me know, set it up, I'm coming over there. I ain't, like when I'm talking numbers, I can't try to go stupid crazy. So that's also somebody who, but gotta go with like, <laughs> gotta go. I gotta go with what I think. I, I don't think, you know, it'll be easy for him. Um, so top of the year, home, or what are we doing? I know you can't give a month and day. I know you don't have that. You can't tell us that yet, but top of the year, I would think, right? Um, I don't know yet. Maybe not the top, like the first week of January. No, I need a break. <laughs> I have to decompress from that or I just like, like to, to organize. I'll you. be working behind the scenes, but like, it's a lot. I'm not doing a card the top of the year, but I told you the next thing I'm doing is my tournament. Right, right, so, right. Uh, we'll be announcing soon who's on it, uh, drop the trailer, and we'll go from there. But also, too, people just spent all this money. Like, they ain't going to have no money to be. I got to wait till they get their taxes. Fair enough, right? Fair enough. Let me see I get that taxes. I, I'm, I'm going to lay off y'all for a minute. I'm going to need you to come back up when you when you drop the um next card, though, please. What, the trailer? For the yeah. um card or for the tournament? Tournament, tournament. All right. We'll think about it. You know I don't be doing the news. But you, but I mean, we, 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 listen, I rock with you. You know that. So I'm glad you even took your time. Yes. Over an hour, you've been on here to take it. I appreciate you, Remy, for real talk. Thank I really appreciate you. you. And don't believe um, bullshit. Don't believe bullshit niggas try to tell you. Don't don't believe bullshit. All right? Nobody never tried to tell me that thing. You want to tell me something? No, but, but you made a comment earlier about me and shit. You, you get a little slip uh, of that's, that's cap. <laughs> that's big cap. That's big, 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 big cap. <laughs> Okay, yes, man. man. I, don't I be joking. Remy, play a lot. A grown old forty something year old man. Don't believe these niggas. They they talk a lot of bullshit. All right, just leave it there. But no, real talk. I always appreciate you. Know why? Because anytime I reach out to you, you're always accessible to me. I'm not gonna lie to you. You always show love. Always. When I went to Chrome, my first event this year was Chrome. That I went to. You show wild love when, when I walk. There's a lot of love in there, yo. Thank you. Know you know what I mean, so, I mean, I appreciate that. That was cool. That was cool. Um. Listen, make sure y'all go get the VOD. Mm -hmm. It's available if you missed the battles. Um, if you didn't get the pay per view, if you did get the pay per view, go rewatch them. Um, mm -hmm. Of course, y'all know we got um, the drop your location in the trenches uh, next weekend. Make sure y'all go get that pay per view. Absolutely, absolutely. Or get the tickets to um, go watch that. Mm -hmm. And yeah, big chrome. Big chrome. <laughs> big chrome is <laughs> I. All right, Ram. Bye, Juju. Bye. I'll talk. You're my ish. Can hear you. Okay, well, my ish. <laughs> uh, Ram, peace and love. I appreciate you, sister. Later. Later, man. Shout out to Ram, you are, yo. <laughs>